What's going on YouTube? Geosan right here. In today's video I have very good news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak or for troll store or similar tools on iOS 17.0 and lower. It turns out Apple decided to patch yet another core trust bug which is basically the same as the one used in the first troll store which allowed us to install any applications without signing them and stuff like that. So OPA334 posted this a couple of days ago, quote, has Apple patched troll store 2 electric boogaloo? Probably not but who knows. And they posted a screenshot of one of the bugs patched in iOS 17.0.1 and iPadOS 17.0.1 back on September the 21st. So if you go ahead in here there's a security bug which says a certificate validation issue was addressed. A malicious app may be able to bypass signature validation and Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited against versions of iOS before iOS 16.7. So that's actually quite interesting and it turns out yesterday OPA334 the developer of Dopamine Jailbreak posted this quote yes they did this is the new core trust bug that appears to be identical to the old one in terms of capabilities. We do not have a proof of concept yet, though I'm personally very busy with other stuff for the time being, so I'm leaving it to other people to figure it out. They also said in here, quote, troll store can likely work one to one, as before once we have a cert that utilizes this bug. Just a new installation method is needed, and iOS before 16.5 can likely be done using KFD. For 16.6, 16.6.1 and 17.0, we need a new method or a kernel exploit. On ARM64, using Checkmate is possible too. So if you are looking forward for a new troll store, it appears to be now possible thanks to the fact that Apple just patched a new vulnerability in iOS 17.0.1 which does the exact same thing as the core trust vulnerability used in troll store a while ago back on iOS 15. So no more signing your applications, no more revokes, no more stuff like that. You can just install your applications with no problem and a lot can be done with that. It's pretty great. In combination with the KFD exploit that we got a while back for iOS 16.5 and lower, we would definitely be able to make Troll Store 2. So that's actually quite great. This vulnerability was patched in 17.0.1. So if you're running iOS 17.0 or lower, definitely stay where you are. Do not update. iOS 17.0 also contains a lot of vulnerabilities, including kernel vulnerabilities that could definitely be useful. And one of them is actually a very powerful one, which appears to be a PPL bypass, which is this one over here, which is exactly what we would need for a jailbreak. So I'm assuming once these get released we will finally see both troll store 2 and a jailbreak definitely great do not update past ios 17.0 and if you're running ios 16 point something 16.7 point four point whatever do not update this is very important it's finally happening thank you for watching i'm gs now till the next time peace out